Welcome riders, uh, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna be talking about the Shoei RFSR helmet I have here, uh, changing out the lens uh, that came with the helmet for a new uh, Shoei uh, Transitions shield, uh, including the pin lock. So I'm gonna be walking you guys through that uh, installation today. It's very easy. Shoei makes it very easy to switch out shields. So first of all, let's talk about the pin lock. Pinlock's a must have for anyone that's really concerned about their shield fogging up, uh, particularly driving, uh, whether it's in the summer or winter months when the condensation from your breath is accumulating within the shield and making it very difficult uh, for you to see. And so pinlocks are a must have for that. The um, transition shield that you see here is really a must have for those riders who just really don't wanna be switching back and forth from some dark tinted shield uh, for during the daytime to a clear uh, shield at night. And so what this uh, new transition shield allows you to do is it automatically changes the tint of the shield based on um, you know the brightness uh, outside. So in full sunlight, it's gonna be dark, um, partly cloudy, it'll be somewhat um, gray or tinted, and then uh, at night it'll be clear. So something really looking forward to is I've had to switch out shields depending upon if I was doing daytime riding or uh, nighttime riding. So let's go ahead and get started with this. Okay, to get started uh, with any uh, product, any gear, or accessories that you're looking at, it's always a good idea to take a look at the instructions. Uh, what uh, pin lock instructions that you see here are actually available in English, uh, French, Deutsch, Italian, Espanol, Portuguese, uh, Polish, and I'm not quite sure uh, what that other language is there. So um, we're gonna go ahead and stick uh, with English today. I've installed uh, pin locks before uh, on my shield, so it's not something I'm, I really need to worry about the instructions, but if you have not installed pin locks on any shields before, really encourage you to take a look at those instructions uh, first and foremost. So first thing we're gonna do here is uh, go ahead and remove the existing shield. Uh, mix, uh, showing mix is very easy to do. What you'll notice on the side of each helmet here, uh, first of all, we're gonna go ahead and lift up the current shield. And what you'll see on the side of the helmet here is this little lever here that you're gonna to push towards the front of the helmet. And as you push towards the front of the helmet, the shield will pop out. There we go. Pop out just like so. We're gonna go over to the other side. Same thing here. I'm gonna go ahead and push this little lever towards the front and the shield with a little maneuver in there. We'll go ahead and come out. As you can see, I've been able to remove the default shield from this helmet here. Uh, next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and install the uh, new shield along with the pin lock. Okay, we have the pin lock and the transition shield out of their respective packages. We're gonna go ahead and install this pin lock now in the shield. We do that before we put the shield uh, on the helmet. One of the first things that you wanna do is what you see that I've done here is you wanna peel this film, this film here on the ends and peel it back some just enough so that as you're installing this pin lock uh, inside of the uh, shield, it doesn't uh, get in the way. The other thing that you wanna make sure is that the silicone edge uh, is facing towards the inside of the shield. And then lastly, you wanna make sure that the write in the lettering that you, hear, uh, that you see here that says pin lock Evo is right side up. Uh, if it's upside down, then you've got the pin lock wrong and you're gonna install it wrong and unlikely will be able to fit into the shield correctly. So we're gonna go ahead and put it right side up. I always use a little cotton terry cloth anytime I'm working uh, on my shield or installing a new pin lock on the shield so it doesn't get scratched um, by the counter or by the table here. Uh, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna stretch the shield out. It's probably difficult to see on the camera here, so let's try it this way. We're gonna stretch shield out this way um, as we put in uh, 
the pin lock. So first thing I'm gonna do is within the little groove there, line up the pin lock, and then I'm gonna stretch the shield out. Maybe difficult to see here on camera as I do this, but take my word for it. Get that uh, fit in just right there. Oh, almost had it. There we go. Okay, you can see that I've got the pin lock now installed within the shield. And what I need to do last here is go ahead and remove this film. And now that I've got the film removed, you can see that the pin lock is installed securely uh, within the shield. Now, some people, what they'll do to test this out to make sure that uh, this is installed correctly is that they'll take a piece of paper, like a post-it note or something else that's really a thin piece of paper just to see um, that it's secure and that the pin lock has made a tight connection so that no moisture, no condensation can get up in there. And as you can see, that sill is tight and I'm not ever, um, able to fit that tiny piece uh, within there. So we've now installed the pin lock within the shield. Okay, Ryder, so we're at our last step now. What you see here is I've actually got both shields right next to each other. I failed to mention earlier that uh, my existing shield also had a pin lock uh, insert in it as well. But can you tell the difference between the two? Can you tell the, the difference between the transitions shield and the uh, clear shield that my helmet came with? I bet you can't, but just to help you out, the transitions shield is the one here on the left. And then the clear shield that came with my helmet is the one here uh, on the right. So interesting, uh, look nearly identical here. And I think in many ways, uh, probably difficult to see here on camera, but um, as I'm looking at it in person here, this transition shield looks much clearer than my current clear shield. And that could just be from, uh, you know, uh, several months of use and uh, being weathered. So we're gonna go ahead and set this off to the side now. We're gonna perform the last step which is installing the uh, shield on my Shelly RFSR helmet. Um, very simple to do as I was uh, showing you earlier how to remove it, uh, nearly identical steps, uh, just in reverse order. Uh, one thing you'll note is that we have these little grooves slash pins up here. Those align directly with what you see uh, on the helmet right here. And so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna put that little groove, those three grooves, push those in. We're gonna go off to the other side. We're gonna do the same process where we push those little pins into the groove. And there we go. We've got the a uh, new shield installed on the Shoei RFSR helmet. I'll do a, a future video to show you the uh, transition shield, how it works uh, in daytime and nighttime. Um, and thank you all for watching.